Alright, this video is for uh, John Bedini and Palingo over at the Energetic Forum and the other guys that are working on the Bedini Earth Light Thread, specifically the crystal batteries. And uh, this experiment was to take another look at iron pyrite. And uh, Palingo is having some pretty good luck with iron pyrite in the crystal cells. And then John Bedini um, has had a lot of experience with iron pyrite. So I got to playing around with this this morning, and I discovered something that uh, very, very strange and interesting. Now this is my penny oscillator. That uh, there's a radio, so you can hear it when it starts up. It's a very, very low power oscillator that I built to test these cells. It starts up at about uh, 0.45 volts at about one microamp. And uh, this is just a piece of iron pyrite with a um, steel wire that I found a spot on the iron pyrite that this will uh, start up and I just disconnected this here or connected it up and you see the uh, oscillator starting to fire and there's the voltage that's coming up on this with just this uh, steel wire stuck in a certain point on that rock and uh, they use these rocks in the crystal oscillators and they were called detectors and these are diode uh, type of rocks these mineral rocks are a diode thing but uh, it's a steel wire with an iron pyrite rock hooked up to that oscillator and that's what you're hearing in the radio is this oscillator and that's the voltage, the loaded voltage on this. And uh, I checked it uh, with the amp meter, and it's only putting out about one or two microamps. But that's what this oscillator runs at. This oscillator runs at these low, low, low amperages. So let me short this out again here. Let that go to zero. Now I'll unshort this. There goes the voltage up, and about four and a half. This will start to fire, and about one micro, just a little under one microamp, is when this uh, will actually run. But um, I don't know. I'll, I'll let me try something else here. Show you. I'm going to short this out again, and un and take this off of the rock. And you see it's a steel wire. All it is is a piece of steel wire, uh, like bailing wire kind of thing. And there's no voltage on it. Let me undo this. And you see there's nothing going on there. And if I touch this on other places of the rock, nothing happens. Let me put it here. And you can see nothing's going on there if I put it in certain spots of the rock. But if I find a little crevice, like right about in there, if I can get this to go. There's see voltage coming up on this. Okay, there it goes. There it goes. And that's that one spot on the rock. You have to have it just right. It's just like a crystal radio. you got to find the right spot. Otherwise, it doesn't work. And it's this diode thing going on. There it goes. Nope. There it goes. There's a different spot on the rock. And I don't know what to make of this. Um, obviously, it's like a two dissimilar metals because the differential between the iron pyrite rock, which is like a copper or graphite differential between the steel. But the fact that it's, it's not working really in an electrolyte, it's working through a crystalline structure. I just found that very, very interesting. So I thought I would make a little short video and and report on this that uh, if you've got the right kind of oscillator that'll work on these low 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 uh, power uh, cells this happens and uh, I thought that was extremely interesting that you could do that with just the rock alone 
Now here's the other thing about this, and I have to be honest about this. I was testing this this morning with um, different other rocks in water. And I believe what's really happening here is in those little crevices are deposits of calcium or something. And they are still probably moist. And so what I've got is I've got the two dissimilar metal type thing going on here with the water molecule that's in still and locked in that uh, calcium deposit or whatever is in these little crevices that's causing this differential which is causing the uh, power to flow and making the oscillator run. So uh, anyway that's my take on this but uh, I suppose I could just dry this out with hot air and try it again and see if anything happens and I'll, I'll lay you odds nothing's going to happen. If you don't have a water molecule in there you're not going to get any action. But uh, this is just point contact folks. That's all that is. That's just a point contact on that rock. You see how that shorted out right there when I did that? That just shorted right out. I'll try to get it going here again. And it goes. You gotta have that just in the right spot on that rock and nothing happens. I got a better spot that time. It's very similar to the, the crystal radio uh, when you're using a cat's whisker on the Galena crystal or, or the Iron Pirate crystal. Depends on where you hit that crystal with that uh, cat's whisker, how much juice you're going to get out of it. And this is the same thing going on here. Anyway, that's my little show for today. This was for John Bedini and uh, Fausto or Palingo on the energetic form and the other guys that are looking at uh, uh, iron pyrite in these crystal cells. Thanks for watching.